Today I'm going to go over how to recharge these uh, silica gel packets. Um, recharging them is actually fairly easy. Um, basically all you want to do is uh, get a bunch of them and lay them out on like a cookie sheet or something like that or even some tin foil or a pizza pan or basically something you can lay them out on. Uh, turn your oven on to 200 degrees. Um, and th none of this stuff will will uh, burn or anything. Uh, turn on to 200 degrees and put them inside your oven for about an hour, maybe two. After that, take them out and uh, they're ready to roll again um, to put them either inside your gun safe or um, into canisters to keep your ammo dry or if you have other stuff that you want to keep uh, moisture free. When to recharge them? Um, that's kind of a good question. I don't really know when to, when you really want to recharge them. Uh, what I will usually do is I'll either use a, um, a cordless dehumidifier, which uses the same concept as the uh, um, silica gel packets, or else I'll have a hygrometer, uh, which that is it's a little, almost like a thermometer type tool that measures humidity. So when it starts going up, I know that these are no longer holding, or they are saturated with water and need to be recharged. So then I'll put them into the oven for about um, an hour or two. And then once they're done, they're, they're not hot once you pull them out of the oven because it's only at 200 degrees, so it's not very hot. Throw them back in whatever you're using them in. Otherwise, if you want to, you can let them cool off for you know 20 minutes or so. So and this is the cordless dehumidifier I was talking about, and it kind of shows right here when it needs to be recharged. Um, so let's see here if you can see the, the gel packets. No, you really can't see them all that well. Um, when they're when they, when the when the humidifier needs to be recharged, all you do is plug it in, let it sit for about um, four or five hours until the uh, the gel packets inside will actually turn um, blue like that. Otherwise, they are almost like a pink or clear when they're wet. So I will usually put this in one of these and wherever I am having the silica gel packets in because then I'll be able to tell easily um, when they need to be recharged. Otherwise, I just use the hygrometer. Um, some of these I, like these I bought off of Amazon, I don't think they're that expensive. Some of them I've gotten from different various things such as um, uh, any safes you buy or um, even like in shoe boxes, they come with silica gel packets. So I, rather than throwing them away like most people will, I will, uh, I'll save them because they can be reused many, 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 many times. So that is one way of keeping things dry. And uh, if you buy shoes or um, they even come in, uh, silica gel packets even come in medication bottles sometimes too. So I'll save them out of there. Um, if you wanna, uh, they even come in pepperoni too. So if you buy like packages of pre-sliced pepperoni, they're inside there. Um, if you wipe them off just to kind of get all the grease off their pepperoni, you can save that. Um, they're pretty much in everything, so um, rather than throwing them away, save them and then just recharge them when you get a whole bunch of them and uh, they need to be recharged. So, there you go.